what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about ios 26.3 beta 2 i'm going to talk about 26.2.1 some news from the world of apple and also something related to ios 27 so without any further delay let's get stuck into this video now i am using ios 26.3 beta 2 from last almost three days now and in this video, definitely want to talk about the battery life and performance. But first, I want to talk share that there is not much changes. Now, with the beta 2, we were expected to get some features, obviously, but beta 2 actually disappointed. Not much changes at all. In fact, just one change, and that was with the forward notification. That forward notification is removed from the notifications, and now that is only available for the devices that are in the EU region. So if you are in the EU region, you will be getting forwarded forward notification option over here but if you're not there that option is removed that was everything with the ios 26.3 beta 2 and honestly i didn't like that i was expecting something more but it is what it is anyways now i want to talk about the battery life how the battery life went out for the last three days also want to talk about the performance so let's begin with the battery life i will catch up into the battery section over here let the battery stats load and over here so this was the first day when i was using 26.3 beta 2 as you can see i use around 81 percent i got 6 hour and 24 minutes screen of time and during this time i was quite active on google maps whatsapp youtube studio um, instagram and threads so i was traveling to other city and that is the main reason why i was way much active on google maps but I will say this is a good battery life, a good screen of time because on the Google Maps, it was consuming my Wi-Fi, it was consuming the location all the time, and it was all the screen sharing the directions and all that stuff, and that consumes a lot of battery life. And again, I will say that is giving me a really good uh, you know, screen of time with the beta 2, which is very nice thing. Uh, the next day, I did use my phone much. I used around like 56%, and I got screen on time of like 4 hours. And during the time, I was active on Instagram, again, on something on Google Maps, WhatsApp, camera app for a bit, and, you know, app store. Uh, today, I used around 59%. and got almost 5 hours of screen time, or maybe 4 hours and 47 minutes. Quite active on Instagram. Uh, YouTube, watched YouTube some videos more than for an hour. And Snapchat and Geekbench, as you can see. But I will say this is a good screen time, honestly. Like, these days where I was busy, like, I was traveling a lot. Uh, the main reason was like my daughter has a surgery so that is one of the reasons I'm not properly active even on my other day I was live channel I'm not active for a month now a few things are going on related to my personal life my personal health so this is one of the main reasons I'm not much actively working but I'm trying to put out videos every single day on this channel so that was one of the reasons like I was traveling to other cities and I would say this is a great screen of time I'm enjoying it I'm, I can say this is a good battery life uh, this is not a bad battery life at all and now if i move to the uh, geek so score uh, geek bench and you know talk about the how the performance is going on over here i ran like multiple tests honestly and i got really good scores like three four seven eight on a single core eight nine seven zero on a multi core both scores are higher than the average one in fact this is a really really good score i ran the score again today got three four seven two on a single core lower multi-core score but that is fine but still this is a really good update i also read a gpu benchmark so i will get into the uh, more here like i got two eight four four five seven gpu but a score higher than the original read the score again got almost saved slightly lower like maybe 21 points lower but yeah still really good the since ios 26.3 is out the betas are out we are getting more than 28 to the score as you can see Previously, I was used to get, uh, you know, the score in the range of 27,000. As you can see, this was 26.2 in the range of 27,000. If I go all the way with the way down, again, 26.1 in the range of 27,000. Over here, for the once, I got 28,000 or 26.1, but just slightly above the 28,000. But most scores are in the range of 27,000. You can see I was 26.0 in the range of 27,000. But after getting 26.3, betas it even started to get scores in the range of 28,000 which is like really good thing i can say 26.3 is going to be one of the best update without any reason so in the beta one i mentioned that i'm facing some lags over here and there 
but those lags will be fixed with a beta too. Now, I want to talk about bugs that are not fixed. The one bug that I was facing, I'm not sure if I'm able to show you over here. Let me get into my photos app and break that bug. I am facing the bug where notifications are not clearly showing up as you can see. Over here, there is a notification but it is not showing what the notification is all about. This was in the beta 2 and I faced just the same bug in the, uh, this was in the beta 1 and I faced the same bug in the beta 2 again. So this is something that is not fixed that I would say Apple, you know, need to fix this one but it is not fixed yet. But this is something which is still over there. Now, talking about the next release, definitely that is going to be the um, 26.3 beta 3 because if I go into the um, journal and about section over here, there's a D at the end of the beta and we're expecting a couple of more betas because I expect like D determines that there will be more couple of more betas, maybe one more beta. Let's see how things are going to work. But definitely I am expecting that and expecting that next week, maybe around 19th or 20th January. Hopefully 19th January is going to be the day when we are going to get the next beta. Um, regarding that, I also want to talk about like I also wrote a 6.2.1 because that is something also confirmed. Now, on by this device, I am using iOS 26.2 for a while now. Using it for so many days now, actually. And it's a good update. Honestly, it fixes a lot of things. But still, some people are facing issues here and there. And I really want those issues to get fixed. Maybe iOS 26.2.1 is going to fix those issues. And 26.2.1 is also confirmed. Now, the main confusion was that will 26.2.1 will break our um, new features, some extraordinary stuff. Well, that is not true. Up to 6.2.1 is going to be a double dot update. A double dot update is always about bug fixes and security patches and they're not going to break anything big. So don't expect big features from 26.2, but expect a good battery life, improved performance and all those stuff. And yeah, now expect a release date of 26.2.1. We were expecting this this week. I'm still hoping maybe Apple today released that on 15th of, you know, January. We never know what Apple is going to do with the updates. You know, after I was 18 and I was 26, Apple is going irregular. They are breaking updates whenever they want. Maybe we can expect that this week, but definitely this week or the next week is going to be the release week for the iOS 26.2.1. Definitely once the video will come out and I will be making a video regarding that. I want to talk about some different sort of stuff. So we are hearing some news regarding Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, one of the biggest $4 trillion company, that Tim Cook is going to retire soon. And we are expecting a next candidate to, you know, overtake his uh, responsibilities and break more changes whatsoever. And we are expecting John Turner to, you know, become the next CEO, maybe see as him as next candidate at least for the CEO of Apple company. And definitely when the CEO is going to change of any company, no matter what, we expect more changes. So that would be great to see how uh, whoever is going to become the next CEO, how he or she handles uh, Apple company and what changes we can expect. Definitely that is going to be a big thing. And we are expecting that to get very, very soon. Also, there is news regarding the adoption rate of iOS 26. That is one of the lowest this time of the year. Like usually people adopt iOS uh, very quickly, but we have news that people are not interested in the iOS 26 liquid glass. People are more looking forward to the iOS 18 flat design, but better performance and a better battery life. So the adoption rate is very, very low this time of the year. With this bad, Apple need to fix few stuff. They need to come back with the Gemini to improve the 26.4. Apple will adjust features and break people on board. They need to do a lot of working over here because again, adopt adoption rate is very, very low. Now, iOS 27 beta 1. iOS 27 is going to be the next update. And regarding the developer beta 1, we definitely expecting that to get a the June. And if I say maybe 6th June is going to be the day when we can expect to see WWC 2026, where we are going to see iOS 27. Uh, first developer beta. I am excited to see. Now, iOS 27 is going to be focused on stability, performance. So, that is something great. Definitely small changes would be there, but mainly it is going to be regarding, you know, all that stuff. So, 
so far in this video i talk about many different things we talk about the uh, how, how the ios 26.3 beta 2 is going on we talk about the ios 26.2.1 we also talk about the cook adoption rate of ios 26 and ended the video with the ios 27 beta 1 expected release date so what do you think about this video let me know in the comment section below and i hope to catch you guys in my next video until then take care peace out